I'm going to show you something with an RPG game. I know a lot of you have requested that I do some tutorials in RPG, so I've made a four-step tutorial that should cover all the basics. Fighting, um, health, magic, spells, uh, character interaction, controls, pretty much everything. I divided this into four parts. I have to talk kind of fast because when my videos get long, my voice tends to lag behind. Uh, the actual video. Okay, so I've opened the Roencia RPG file and I've already have my sprites imported and you, I would suggest downloading this file and you can take a look at everything here. And let's go ahead and open up my little town of Aranin and we have some things on the screen here. I have some characters, I have some uh, buildings and little mushroom man and I was making this wolf guy but for now I'm going to delete him and we're going to focus on the mushroom attacking the mushroom men but the first thing you know, need to know for any RPG game is good character controls and in a previous tutorial on sprite collisions I took my character sprite Aaron and I have him and I put a, a little uh, sprite called walk block and this controls all the collisions and I show you how to do that in the 2D collision tutorial which I'd watch first so you could do it. It, it makes it kind of neat. It adds a neat effect to the game and I'll show you here in just a second. Let's open the walk block here and under here you'll notice I have every collision that is going to happen in the game happen through there and under my character Aaron I just have facing and I have different uh, variables set up you want to set up variables for your your characters that's very important by going to control <coughs> and just dragging this file here I have where he's facing I have how famous he is his attack power his defense his talent which is my magic power and then I have some triggers I have his health I always set health to 100 because I like using health bars and they get all screwy if you don't use 100 so even though his health could be like say 5000 you could have 5000 health it always this will always be set to 100 if I were to erase his attack right now in the game against the mushroom men his normal attack would be greater and his facing uh or, I'm sorry his defense that would actually be greater too if if I were to raise that Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this walk block on so you can kind of see what's going on here. Let's put it visible. I made the controls go to the keyboard and to the and to the a joystick, but to tell you the truth, I masked all the player controls to the joystick except for the keys you can control with the keys. Now you see my head goes but I can't go any higher because then it hits that little block there but this gives the effect that oh look I'm standing in front of a tree the only problem is it doesn't work going down but this is the quick and easy way to do it and for the most part it's kinda nice you can walk these guys I walk by them they're looking at me I can walk past the house I can walk over the mushrooms Okay. Well, so to do player control, uh, we're going to want to open our walk block and we're going to go to the step event. Most people put their controls in the events and I'm going to show you why you're going to want to put it in the step event. So I'll open the step event and here I have little uh, tips that tell you what's going on. This tells whether you're attacking or defending and this controls your player's speed right down to here. If your speed is larger than 3.5, set the speed to 3.5 so you won't go incredibly fast. And under the create event, I also added friction to make it when you slow down, you, you slow down just slightly because nobody stops instantly, right? Okay, so, uh, you know, for the most part, I just had to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak. Here's the controls for the joystick from there down to, let's see, here and here's for the keyboard. I have variables to where if I'm pushing up and right going diagonal equal to 1 which if the keyboard check up is equal to 1 which is true or the and right is true 
then I set a direction of 45. I like to use direction of numbers rather than direction of um, of the arrow key, which you can find right here, where if you push, it goes in that that direction, and that makes for more smooth walking. You notice that my walking was really smooth when I played the game, and so I do that all the way down for every direction you can think of, up and right, up and left, left and down, right and down, uh, up, and then I have a I set my facing to the same area as as my direction. So therefore, I'm looking the correct direction. My and I set the facing variable because in my other tutorials you learn that when you set facing, you can have a control sprite function. Uh, notice how I'm setting the facing of air and down. I'm not setting the facing of this walk block. So under air and down, under step event. Oh wait, where is it here? Where's my facing control? Draw. There it is. It's under draw. Um, it sets the facing in my character turns correctly. Okay. So that's it. That's how you walk. We're going to go on to part two, which is going to be a little bit more interesting, and I'm going to show you some uh, attacking and stuff like that.